It's a classic presentation, a child with a midline anterior neck mass. So here are T1 and T2 weighted sequences in the anterior neck. I think the mass is pretty easy to pick up here. Here is a post-contrast image. Um, so that's all I got. It's time to, time to make a decision. What do you think this is? So the trick here is that most anterior midline neck masses are thyroglossal duct cysts. Why is this not a thyroglossal duct cyst? That diagnosis of TDC relies on a tight relationship between the mass and the strap muscles. Notice that here the mass is anterior to the strap muscles, not inside the strap muscles. The strap muscles are not making a claw around it. So it is superficial to the strap muscles. Another important clue here is that when we apply fat saturation, I don't care about the fact that there's contrast here. When we apply the fat saturation that we use on our post-contrast imaging, it saturates. It is at least partially filled with fat. Now, a thyroglossal duct cyst can become bright on T1 weighted imaging just because of recurrent infections, but that won't saturate out. Saturation on fat sat images indicates fat content. This is a dermoid, a dermoid cyst in the anterior neck, and it requires much less of an operation. This is a critical diagnosis for the radiologist to make so that this patient doesn't unnecessarily have portions of the hyoid bone removed in a cyst trunk procedure.